Welcome to the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now. I'm John Cozy. Well, it's post-memorial day in the U.S., and the Euro drama starring Greece and a cast of millions isn't helping anyone focus much on summer vacations. And unlike individuals who can sell in May and go away, fund managers still need to figure out stocks to buy and sell. Fortunately, Thomson Reuters has a tool that helps you see those stocks that have the most and least appeal to new buyers. So let's take a closer look. Here's the S&P 500 chart from early March. That's when Starmine's Smart Holdings model showed the consumer discretionary and technology sectors having the highest percent of stocks that were then most appealing to future buyers. We can see technology stocks outperformed a rising S&P in March and then slipped back as the market lost its footing. The discretionary sector's done better since late April and so far it's holding on to that outperformance. To see what's in store now, we screen the latest Starmine Smart Holdings model data. The model ranks the stock's likelihood of being bought by investment managers in the next 90 days, based on each manager's unique investment profile. Starmine then figures out which stocks best fit that profile and pulls them all together to figure out how each stock stacks up to all others in the region. It's a way of looking at potential buying pressure stock by stock. The latest results? Virtually a three-sector photo finish for the winners. In third place is consumer discretionary. Starmine's 1 to 100 ranking system shows 26% of the sector in the top 10% of likely demand out of all stocks in North America. And when you look at the top 25% of demand, it's half the names in the sector. Names like retailer Target, casino and gaming company International Game Technology, and media company CBS Corp. Technologies are second best sector with 27% of the names in the top 10% of buying appeal and half with scores in the top 25%. And yes, Apple's still on the list along with names like communications equipment maker Qualcomm and software provider Intuit. And coming in at number one with 28% of the companies with high scores is the industrial sector. For as bad as things have seemed, they're only a bit behind the S&P 500 in year-to-date performance. They've also got 56% of their names in the top 25% of likely appeal, including components and equipment maker Molex, Norfolk Southern in Transportation, and conglomerate Illinois Toolworks. Now that's not all. Our clients also can see stocks with the least forecast appeal to new buyers. There are a lot of companies here that join the likes of Netflix, Best Buy, and JCPenney as names to think twice about buying in the next three months. For the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now, I'm John Cozy.